Welcome back to the Oakland Athletics franchise. It is opening day here in 2019. Well, this is the first time in a couple of years that we've opened up here at the Coliseum. Last year, obviously, we played the Angels at Angel Stadium, but here we are in Oakland, California, taking on the Chicago White Sox, a foe from the AL Central, as the AL West Athletics look to win this year. As here comes Matt Joyce and the rest of the athletic squad pumping up his teammates, the veteran, as the anthem blares in the background as the players are getting ready for a new season of baseball, hoping for a better result than last year. Chris Davis, one of the main leaders on our team. Obviously, Jorge Polanco, a huge addition in the Rule 5 draft. We're ready for baseball. Let's get underway. On the hill for us will be our biggest addition of the offseason, Rick Porcello, making his First appearance of the year, obviously he had 32 starts last year with an incredible 21-5 and record, really showing what the Red Sox could do last season. First pitch of the 2019 season, here it comes from Rick Porcello, and it's low and out for a ball on Tim Anderson. A little later in the at batters, the 2-0 pitch to Anderson, it's a little weak ground ball to Polanco, his first chance as an A, it's a beautiful throw, an incredible play right there, getting it out is Tim Anderson, as he'll sit on the bench. Here's a 2-2 to the former Royal, Abraham Almonte. He grounds out over towards Matt Duffy. Duffy makes an easy play on to first, and there are now two outs in the inning. Then after that, we would end up seeing the likes here. Here's the 2-2 pitch from Porcello. He hits a hard ground ball to Polanco. He gets set, throws on to first. That's three up, three down for Rick Porcello, making his first start for the Athletics, and that's a nice one. Carlos Rodon is on the hill for the White Sox this season. He had a pretty good season last year in the minors. Spent the entire season down in the minors. The first man he would face would be Jorge Mateo. Here's the 0-1 to Mateo. It's a weak little grounder. Chops out to Michael Franco. And he fires on a first. And the out is recorded. Franco from the Phillies to Chicago this past offseason. Then the 0-1. Duffy grounds out towards the hole. A nice play from Tim Anderson. He comes up firing the throw on the first. It is in time. A nice scoop by Garrett Cooper, the first baseman. And they're two down in the inning. Then the first pitch to Jorge Polanco. His first at bat as an athletic. He rips one and that's going to be a liner. But a nice play made by Yohan Mancata, the highest rated player on this, off, or on this entire team. Then here's the at-bat of Eloy Jimenez. His first MLB at-bat It's going to be a hard ground pull up the middle, but an easy play for Polanco. Fires on a first, and Eloy Jimenez, his first at-bat is over. He is retired. Chris Davis up here in the bottom of the second. Comes off of a great, 2017, or great 2018 season. Pops out into the infield. Missing one. The throw on to first is in time. Davis is out. Or is he? Here comes new manager A.J. Hinch. Brand new from the Astros, and already he's going to be a crowd favorite as his first decision as manager would be to challenge this call. A horrible call by the umpire. He must be at least 95. Oh my god, that was a terrible call. The umpires would go over, they would tell the umpire he doesn't have very good eyesight, and they would call Davis safe at first. So we have a man on here in the bottom of the second as the call was overturned. A little later, a one pitch to Steven Piscotti with Davis at first, rips a deep fly ball. Deep left field. This one's back and this one is gone. Steven Piscotti. Holy Toledo. The sign lights up. And that overturned call ends up being a huge factor in this inning. As Piscotti and the Athletics cruise on to a 2 nothing lead here in the bottom of the second. Absolutely getting all of that pitch. And just one little call can really change the momentum of a game. Because 2 nothing is a lot more than one nothing in the mind of a pitcher. Who just gave up a giant home run to one of the best hitters on the squad. Then the 1 2 pitch from Porcello in the top of the third to Mr. Garrett Cooper. So sorry, actually, Gillespie, sit down. That's strike number three, and that'll end the top of the third. Top of the fourth now, A. Belmonte back up to the dish. The 1 2 to him. He has a hard ground blow up the middle, and that one gets through. The first base hit of the night for the White Sox as they finally have a man on board. The 0 1 to Yohan Mancata. And Monte thinks he has wheels. How Monte does not have wheels. Ore Polanco gets the tag down. And newly acquired catcher JT Ramuto throws out Al Monte. Moving on to the bottom of the fourth. Here's the 0 1 pitch to Chris Davis. Rips a deep liner. Deep left field going back to the wall. Looking up. And it bounces. It's a one hopper to the wall. Rounding first inning to second for extra bases. Davis slides in safely. And then we have a man on scoring position with one down. Piscotti up here, 1 0 pitch, Rodon comes set. Here it comes to Steven Piscotti. Rips the fly ball in deep right field, going back to the track, looking up. Jimenez makes the catch. Davis is going to tag him after third. The throw is offline to the cutoff man. They're going to send Davis home. The throw up from Anderson is 
A flying but a great tag by the catcher Navarro, and the inning is over. Victor Navarro saves a run, and it's still 2 0 Athletics. We see this one one more time, but Scotty lifts this one deep and far, but Eloy Jimenez tracks it down, doesn't really have time to set his feet that well, then overthrows the second baseman, Moncada. A nice pickup from Anderson, still makes a throw offline, but Victor Navarro tags him at home plate, and Davis is retired. One, two, pitch is a swing, and a miss from Michael Franco, he said he went around, and that's out number two for Purcello. 2-1 to Garrett Cooper, it's a little liner into right coming in on it's Piscotti. He dives, but they're going to say it hit the turf before it went into his glove, and that would score the runner from second. That's an easy run right there. Garrett Cooper is first RBI of the year. 1-2 pitch here and a swing and a miss, setting down batters easily as Porcello, as that's a nice pitch right there. There's JT Ramuto, the one over to him. He's going to rip a deep five ball, and this one has a chance to fall. And it will right in front of the left fielder, but number... Oh, actually, I believe that was Matt Olsen who did not tag up, so he is retired at second. Nicky Delmonico gets him out. And then the first pitch to Matt Chapman is going to be a little fly ball. Can this one get down? Yes, it will. Romito said he's heading to third. He would get there in time. We have runners on the corners with one down. Nice little tag up there from Romito. Then the 0-1 pitch to Matt Joyce. He's going to rip a little liner. This one's going to fall into left field. Rounding second and adding to third and getting there would be Matt Chapman. As that's a one-out RBI single for Matt Joyce. What a hit right there. Then the 1-1 to Jorge Mateo. He's going to rip one. This one's going to get into the gap. Rounding second and adding to third would be Joyce. Is that all he had? Yes, it will. He's slow. So we have runners on second and third, a one-out RBI double for Jorge Mateo. Then the first pitch to Matt Duffy. He's going to rip one. Deep right field. Going back to the track is Jimenez. And making the catch, he would retire Duffy, but runners would tag up and score. And then Jorge Mateo trying to threaten the catcher. Sorry for the voice crack. He goes back to third safely, and it's 5-1 to one A's. Still at third is Jorge Mateo. The 1-1 one, one to Polanco going up the middle. Hits second base. An odd play right there. And Jorge Mateo would score an RBI single for Jorge Polanco. It's 6-1 A's. 1-2 pitch from Porcello. Freezing Tim Anderson. Go sit down, buddy. He did not have a chance on that one. 1-2 one Almonte is going to be a weak little fly ball. Going back behind it is, is Olsen. And he lost it in the sun. And this one falls right in front of him. That's going to be an error, but still a foul ball. And the 1 1 2 Almonte is going to get this one past the glove of Polanco. Rounding first, that would be just a single for Almonte. And we have runners on first and second with one down. Then the pitch. Makata hits it over towards the second baseman. Duffy's going to take it to second on to first and double play. What a play. A do it yourself kind of double play right there. And the side is retired. Oakland only gives up one run. So we move on a little bit later in the game. Top of the seventh, we go. Oh, one pitch to Michael Franco. Hits a hard ground ball past Matt Chapman. That's going to be a single into left field. Davis feels it cleanly, gets it in quickly, and that's going to be a two out single. The one two to Cooper. Going to rip one into the gap. This one has a chance to fall, and it will. But with Scotty's momentum, takes him over. Wouldn't affect the play at all as it's still a single for Cooper. 1-1 one, one pitch here to Nicky Delmonico. It's a hard ground ball over to Holson. He would throw on a first. It's a foot race to first and getting there. First would be Porcello. As the inning is over, we're out of trouble. Bottom of the seventh. Oh, one pitch to Chapman. Going to rip a little liner into the gap. This will get over the glove of the shortstop, Tim Anderson. And that would be just a single for Chapman as he tried to stretch it into the extra bases but ended up not doing that. As he says, I don't want to round that and possibly get caught. Then with one AM on and nobody out, Matt Joyce hits a ground ball, filling it cleanly and tagging out. Chapman on to first, Joyce is safe. Mateo up here is the 0-2, and he swings and misses at a ball in the dirt. Let's strike three. He can't tag up even though it was a drop third strike, since there was already a runner occupying first, but Chapman advances to second. 1-0 pitch to Matt Duffy, rips one up the middle, this one's got a chance, going into center field, no, it hits off the glove of uh, Anderson, and the tag home is in time, another offline throw, but a nice, another nice tag from Victor, Victor Navarro, Nate Jones comes in here to try to close the door on the top of the ninth, it wasn't a save opportunity, but we just wanted to get this game over with, he's a new acquired facing his former team, first pitch, and he is out, a 10 pitch at bat, a 10 pitch at bat right there, then going down looking on the changeup was Eloy Jimenez. As that is out, second out. 
0 oh, 2 pitch to Moncada. Swing and a miss. And Nate Jones gets his first ever two inning game of the season. As the A's go on and win this one by a final score of 6 to 1. A really nice game in this one as we did pitch very well. Rick Porcello going out and showing who Rick Porcello really is as he's 1 0 now on the season. And we are now 1 0 as a team. Maybe we can go 162 0. We'll find out. As we take a 6-1 to one win and we are currently tied for first in our division, which we should be since no one can do better than 1-0 after one game. Rodon went five innings, gave up eight hits and six runs. But we would not go 162-0, spoiler alert, as we lose to the White Sox in the second game of the series. So, it would be up to the last game to decide it. We would claim Edwin and Carnacion off waivers from the Indians, and we would trade away Matt Joyce, James Caprolin, and Daniel Menjin, because I can't say his name, for a prospect, Charlie Stein from the Atlanta Braves. And we would get him. He's now on our AAA team for the Nashville Sounds. And this is a very good trade for us. We get an eight potential prospect. We have so many top 50 prospects for pitching. Well, obviously, Jorge Lopez. AJ Puck was one last year. Jesus Lizardo. And now we also have another tip, top 50 prospect. And, of course, Charlie Stein. It actually says he wasn't one here, but it does say a little bit later that he was. Still, an A potential prospect. That double A pitching is going to be amazing. Yeah, you can see right there. Top 50. So we will play the third game to try to win the series against the White Sox here in the Coliseum. As this one will be a fun one on the hill for us will be Andrew Triggs. Currently our two-man in the rotation. Had a 9-10 and 10 record last year and a, sub -poor, a subpar for ERA. So not the greatest record right there. Not the greatest resume. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch to get things started. Tim Anderson obviously wearing our banana yellows here on the third game of the season. And he gaps one into the right center gap. Filling it cleanly and getting it in quickly would be Piscotti. And that would all oh, it would be a double for Tim Anderson. But it would turn out to be a little more than a double. Later, Abraham Almonte, the next batter. First pitch to him, rips a deep fly ball, deep center field. Going back is Mateo, tracking it down, but tagging up. And ending to third would be Anderson. And he would get in there with ease. As that's just not a feasible play for Mateo to make. So with a runner in scoring position and one down, here's the 0-1 pitch. And it's going to be our easy ground bull, but it's slow. A slow little chopper, and that's an RBI for the Sox as Victor Navarro scores the runner from third. It's 1-0 Sox after one. Anthony DiScalfani, the former pitcher for the Cincinnati Reds, would join the Sox rotation here in 2018. And who would be pitching for this third game to try to take home the first series of the year? First batter up here in the bottom of the first. Actually, the third batter up. Here's the first pitch to Jorge Polanco. He's going to rip a deep five ball. Deep right center gap. Going back to the wall, looking up as Eloy Jimenez. This one has a chance, and it is gone. It clears the right field wall, and it is a solo shot for Jorge Polanco, the former Minnesota twin, as we claimed him from the Rule 5 draft. One of the most crucial one of the most crucial things we've ever done in this entire series. A great pickup and a great player Polanco is, as we tie this one up at one apiece here in Oakland. What a shot there from Polanco. His first home run is an athletic, and we go up one to one in this game, and that would send out, and that would actually send out Triggs with a tied game. That's something that he really needs. He needs that confidence, which is a big part of the thing that he didn't have last year. He seemed to always be in a hole when he was pitching. A little later, it's two to one Sox. Here's the one two pitch, and a swing and a miss from Franco. He goes down swinging on the outside. Change up. 2-2 pitch to Garrett Cooper. He goes down swinging on the sinker. A nasty pitch right there from Triggs, and that's the second out of the inning. In the bottom of the second, we're down 2-1. to one. Here's the 0-1 pitch from Piscotti. It's a hanging curveball. He grinds it over Tor Franco, and he's played a first. And the throw is wide. Pulling Cooper off the bag. Safe at first is Piscotti with a man on first. That will bring up Edwin and Cardinal Sion. Another fun name to say. The 1-0 pitch is first at bat. is an athletic. Runs up and in and gets drilled with it. So there would be runners on first and second with nobody out. A one pitch, two medals in the big first baseman. He's going to hit one off the hands. It's a swinging bunt. Dillis Galfani goes for the risky move at second. He is out. Gets the second to lead runner. And now there's runners on the corners with one down. A much better situation than second and third with one down. Here's JT Romuto with one out. And this is exactly why it was a better situation. The first pitch to him is a ground ball of four, six, three double play. Garrett Cooper finishing it off at first. And he hits into a double play to end the inning. Top of the third we go. 1-2 pitch to Gillespie. He goes down on strikes. Strike three from Andrew Triggs. 0-2 oh, pitch now to Tim Anderson. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That's a nasty curve from Triggs as he was on his A game tonight. 
Then the 1-1 one -one pitch to Eloy Jimenez. He swings and misses on the slider. The very next pitch, the 1-2 to Jimenez. You know the result. Swing and a miss. Curveball out and away. That is strike number three, and he is retired. The 1-1 one -one pitch to Moncada. Grounds out over towards Olsen. Has trouble with it, and nobody's there to cover. He is safe in E3 there. The 1 pitch. Obviously, Moncada's got speed, and we knew he was going. The pitch to Franco's a strike on the second, and that's another throw-it-out runner. What a play from JT Romuto, a much better catcher than Lucroy could have ever been. The 1-2 is swinging a miss from Chris Davis. Up and in that fastball was heating. The top of the sixth action. 2-2 two -two pitch to Gillespie. He had a rough series, but he lines one into the corner. This would be extra bases for Gillespie. He had a very rough series up to this point. But he starts to get his season going with a double right there. So we have a runner in scoring position now. Here's the 0-2 pitch to Tim Anderson. A swing and a miss. Are you kidding me, Andrew Triggs? That is strike number three. There's one out here in the inning. Then the 1-2 to Abraham Almonte. An outside slider. Another strikeout for Triggs. Trying to get out of this little jam he has. And then the next batter up. Jimenez is going to rip one into the left field. Davis comes up firing. A throw home is not going to be in time. As that was a terrible play from Chris Davis, and it's 3-1 White Sox. They hold a commanding lead. The full 3-0 pitch to Jimenez. He hits it off of his hands and ropes it into left field. Davis comes up firing, and the runner would stay at second. So then uh, now have runners on first and second with two down. Next man up. Here's the 2-1 to Moncada. Going to rip one up the middle. This one's going to be a hit. Rounding third and coming home. Here's the throw home from Jorge Mateo. It is in time. Yes, it is! He got him! And a beautiful tack from JT Romuto, and the inning is over. Out of trouble, they go. We're going to the bottom of the sixth. The very next pitch is the Jorge Mateo. He's going to be the hero. It's a hanging curveball. He says, get that out of my face. Rips it in a deep left field for his first recorded home run that we've shown on the series. Jorge Mateo, it kind of feels like a milestone right here, as that's the first time I've actually ever hit a home run with him in a ball game. So it's 3-2. We trail by one still. Jorge Mateo sending one deep. Taking the handoff from the third base coach into home plate. And now we are just down by one. But the fun in the sixth inning was not done there. A beautiful throw from Mateo and a home run was not just it in the sixth inning. Chris Davis up. I think you guys already know what's happened. He's turned into a crush. Davis rips a deep five ball. Deep left center going back is the center fielder. Abraham Almonte looks up as this one clears the wall, and we are tied up at three runs apiece as the Athletics are now tied up. Two down in the inning. It doesn't matter. Davis will hit a home run anytime. He's kind of like the Hulk turning in from Chris to crush. Davis, what a shot right there, and we are now knotted up at three apiece. So a nice little hit right there from Davis. Back-to-back -back home runs in the inning. Not back-to-back, -back, but you know what I mean. Randall Delgado making his first appearance. We acquired him in the Rule 5 draft from Arizona. They hold so pitch to Cooper. Delgado's got movement. Delgado's got speed. What a pitch right there. Then the 0-2 to Delmonico. Nicky Delmonico looking down. He throws him on the fastball at strike three. 0-2 pitch to Timmy Anderson. Another nasty pitch from Randall Delgado. He has great movement, and he can work with it. Then the 0-2 to Abraham Almonte. He looks at it. The slider. What a nasty pitch. We have a great bullpen and a great starting rotation. 0-1 to Chapman. He's going to rip this one down the line. It'll get past Franco going into the corner. Chapman's going to round first, heading to second. And that would be a beautiful double for Matthew Chapman, who's he standing up over there. We call him pitch hitter Lazaro Armenteros as he would try to bring home the run to give us the lead. Hendricks is warming up in the pen. Here's the pitch to Armenteros. Rips it up the middle, but a nice backhand by the pitcher on the first, and that's the second out of the inning. We have a man in third. The first pitch to Jorge Polanco. It's inside. It's him on the hands, and an easy play for the third baseman, Franco, and the bottom of the eighth is over as the Sox get out of trouble. Kyle Baraclaw, another addition we had. He came when the JT Romuto trade, so he's used to his catcher. He comes on, and the first pitch is a liner into center. Having trouble with it, it's Piscotti as Jorge Mateo got pitch hit. Or actually, Mateo moved to shortstop. Polanco would switch to second after Duffy was pitch hit for. And Eloy Jimenez goes down on strikes. The full count pitch. It's a hard ground ball from Moncada on the second for one. Back to first double play. Matt Olson, a 3-6-3 double play. Do it yourself, buddy. 
And we move on to the bottom of the ninth. Kevin McCarthy coming in. Very first pitch. He rocks back. Here comes to crush Davis. And he rips one. Deep left field. No doubt. Dropping the bat. How about a walk off in the opening series? We saw this last year. We see it again. Chris Davis sending us, sending us off. He doesn't want to see extras. The very first pitch he gets, he takes it into the second deck in left field. And what a rip it was. Chris Davis setting off fireworks tonight. And that is how we would win this ball game. As Davis walks it off, celebrating with his teammates. He deserved it. A absolute crush right there. Turning into crush. Davis, what a shot. And boy, are we proud of him. He put in so much work in the offseason to try to get better. And boy, did he do better. As that's a nice way to start off your season. Crush Davis. How about ya? As that one would put them up 2-1. to one. Or actually, sorry, that would put them up 4-3. to three, And that would win them the ball game in the bottom of the ninth. Chris Davis, how about that? What a clutch game for us as we really needed a win here. Obviously losing our last one, we wanted to take the opening series and we do just that. And a really nice game for us. As I'm proud of how our team looked. Our bullpen looked very strong. Our offense looked about like last year. Very good offense. With the addition of Jorge Polanco and now DH Edwin Encarnacion. I think getting rid of the veteran contract of Matt Joyce was smart. I think picking up Encarnacion was very smart as well. Kyle Barraclaw, Nate Jones, Randall Delgado are all showing to be very good pitchers as we take the AL West. The AL West so far as we are up two games, or we're actually up two and two to one record so far as we win this one four to three. Triggs went six innings, six hits, three earned runs, and eight Ks. A no decision for him as he did not go long enough. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like on it, subscribe if you're new. Watch out for the Durand offseason tomorrow. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching and goodbye.